I don't know about you, but I love Prada. And luckily, they just released a new fragrance for 2021 from the Luna Rossa line. It is called Ocean. Let's look at it together. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome. I'm Peter from Centrail, and on this channel we discover fragrances. Designers, niche, perfumers, so on and so forth. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell great, consider subscribing. And if you get anything out of this video at all, you know, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you in advance, and now let's get right into our fragrance for 2021 by Prada called Ocean. Prada, the Italian fashion house, was launched or was founded in 1913. Mostly back then, they sold luggage and leather goods. The first fragrance wasn't sold in department stores until the early 2000s. Although the first fragrance ever for Prada was a 1990s fragrance, it was for women. It was a fruity chypre with some honey and rose in it. Today, there are six lines of Prada. There's all, or seven if you count the exclusives. And there are almost a hundred fragrances that sport the name of Prada. The latest release from Prada is from a line called Luna Rossa. There are eight fragrances in that line, including the latest one, which is called Oceans. And that one is our focus today. But before we get into it, before we get into the notes, you know, breakdown and how does it smell and all that sort of stuff, why don't we look at the bottle? It's actually pretty cool looking. Given that Oceans is from, you know, the Luna Rossa line, I get that there are always going to be people who are going to compare it to something in that line. Now, the DNA is still going to be there somewhat because it is from the Luna Rossa line. Unfortunately, the talk on this fragrance right now is a little bit on the negative side, at least as it is for right now since it just came out. However, you know, it's too, too bad, really. I like the fragrance. To my nose, there's a slight hint of marzipan in there somewhere, and I like marzipan. And the only note that I could tell that this fragrance has, I guess, a like in some of those fragrances that it gets compared with is lavender or violet. Everything else, it doesn't really match up. But maybe it's the times we're in, and that's just the way it's going to be from here on out. However, for me, I'm choosing to be positive, and if you're into it, as well as I am, loving fragrances, and don't listen to the chatter too much, then why don't we look at the notes of Oceans from 2021. At the top, we're gonna have bergamot, artemisia, and pink pepper. In the belly of this fragrance, we're going to have iris, we're going to have lavender, sage, suede, and amazing soft saffron. In the base of this fragrance, we're going to have patchouli, Haitian vetiver, there's also some musk, and some yummy caramel. But since we're at it, why don't we give this fragrance another spray and kind of go through it as it, you know, from first spray into the dry down. Nice, powerful sprayer. Right after you spray it, you're going to definitely feel the bergamot. It is quite bright and a little bit citrusy. The Artemisia is also right there, which is kind of a unique scent. More on that in just a second. And of course, there's a little bit of a tingle of the pepper as you first spray it. Artemisia is a note that is a lot like licorice to me. They use Artemisia to flavor alcohol like absinthe, or vermouth, so it has a little bit of a licorice scent to it, but it's really well done, and it kind of gives it a little bit of a, a peppiness to it at the very top. Quite beautiful. It doesn't take very long at all for the iris and beautiful saffron to surface. You know, saffron has an intimate quality to it, but there's also some lavender in here, and which I said earlier, it reminds us a little bit of the DNA of other fragrances like some of the original ones. You know, the original Luna Rossa. It has a little bit of that in there, as it should, because it is from the Luna Rossa line. 
So with the lavender and sage giving us a little bit of a DNA from the originals, there's also a good amount of suede in here, which lends this fragrance powdery scents. As we get near to the base of the fragrance, we're going to have some vetiver, and we're going to have the warm, comforting earthiness of the patchouli in the base. I've been wearing this fragrance for the last few days since I got it. I get about six plus hours of longevity out of the fragrance, which is plenty for me. Uh, it's not, you know, a super killer that lasts 24 hours. However, the dry down on my skin does stay into the night and even the next morning when I wake up, I could still smell it on my hand. Now it's close in, but it is definitely still there. It doesn't just disappear completely. So you will have a nice warm fragrance still on your skin the next day. And the protection is along the line of Luna Rossa Sport, you know, about arm's length for at least, you know, the first couple of hours. And then it starts moving in a little bit closer. And let's get to the nitty gritty of it. Yes, it does remind me a little bit of Dylan Blue. It does. It also reminds me a little bit of Blue de Chanel. Yes. It also has the existing DNA, you know, of the original Luna Rossa. Yes, it does. For me, I totally loved wearing this fragrance. Now, is it a super shining star new? No, it's not. But I loved wearing it, and my wife also loved it. She actually wondered what it is. She liked it that much. So perhaps in the future, you know, less is not more, and more is the way to go. I'll see you next time. Cheers. All right, and if you're still here and you got anything out of this at all, remember, give it a like. And if you want to smell nice or if you're into fragrances, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and we'll talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail, out.